Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this video, we will discuss the gastroperception and the gastrointestinal anastomosis, the Billroth 1, the Billroth 2, and the Rho 1 Y gastrointestinal anastomosis. So, you see, we have got three models. So, this is the stomach, this is a small tumor, this is the duodenum, this is the bile duct entering into the second part of duodenum, this is the ligament of treats attached to the undersurface of diaphragm, and from here starts the duodenal loop. So, starting with the Billroth 1. So, Billroth 1 is basically gastroduodenostomy. It is not gastroduodenostomy and it is done only in case of benign tumors in which we do not need a large margin of resection or in case of like, uh, like peptic ulcers. So, in Billroth 1, we do the resection of the tumor like this. And then you just do the, you mobilize the stomach and the duodenum and do the anastomosis. So for the anastomosis, as this is the larger side, you have to reshape the lesser curvature of the stomach. So you reshape the lesser curvature of the stomach, suture this end, and then do the, mobilize both the stomach. and the duodenum and then do the anastomosis. So this is the Billroth 1 gastroduodenal anastomosis. So coming to the Billroth 2 gastrojejunal anastomosis. Now Billroth 2 gastrojejunal anastomosis is done in malignant tumor. So in malignant tumors, in case of polypoid type of tumors, you need at least 2 cm proximal margin of resection. While in case of infiltrating diffuse tumors or ulcerative tumors, you need at least 5 cm proximal margin of clearance. So, let's cut it. Resect this tumor. Partial gastrectomy. And now close the distal and proximal end of the duodenum. Now bringing up a loop of jejunum and anastomosing it with the in stomach. So there are two types of anastomosis, isoperistaltic and antiperistaltic. So you see bile, this is coming from here. So bile is coming from here. This is the peristalsis of the intestine. So if you anastomose it like this, that the afferent loop that is bringing the bile is anastomosed with the lesser curvature of the stomach. It is called isoperistaltic. While if you anastomose it the other way around that the afferent loop is with the greater curvature of the stomach, it is called antiperistalsis. So the isoperistaltic anastomosis is preferred because in that the bile that comes into it, so this is the direction of the bile that is coming, the peristalsis of the intestine and this is the peristalsis of the stomach. So they are both in the same direction. So in this one is preferred because the bile that comes into it goes downward easily along with the peristalsis of the stomach and along with gravity. In the opposite, the one opposite, they will first the bile will collect into the stomach and then will go out. So let's do the anastomosis. Taking the loop of jejunum and anastomosing it with the stomach so that the afferent loop is along the lesser curvature of the stomach. So this is the isoperistaltic Billroth 2 gastrojejunal anastomosis. So coming to the Rho and Y gastrojejunal anastomosis. So in this again you reset the tumor, 5 cm proximal. This is the most preferred anastomosis because in it there is no body reflux. You close this end of the duodenum. Then from the ligament of treats, 20 to 30 cm distal to it, you reset the duodenum. If the strength is longer, it may need to bother us. So that's why it should be just 20 to 30 cm. Now you anastomose this duodenum with the stomach. This end is closed. You do this anastomosis. Now you attach this loop of the uh, duodenum, which is the uh, transverse or horizontal limb of the duodenum 
and to side anastomosis done and it is done so that it at the length that at the location that this vertical limb is at least 60 centimeter in length in order to prevent bile reflux and to side jejunal anastomosis so the vertical limb that is being, coming from the stomach should be at least 60 centimeter in length while the horizontal limb bringing the bile distance from the ligament of trees should be at least 20 to 30 centimeter in case of total gastrectomy the same anastomosis it can be done with the esophagus that is Jejunoesophageal anastomosis. So this is the jejunoesophageal Ru and Y anastomosis. So this is it, the Billroth 1, the Billroth 2, and the Ru and Y gastrojejunal anastomosis. Thank you. Hope you found it helpful.